Hello folks, the question uh, today uh, I have today is question number 9, uh, 2020, February, March, paper 1, 2, uh, question number 9, as I've already said. So this question belongs to kinematics or the chapter of forces. This is that the diagram shows graphs of various quantities plotted against time for an object dropped from a stationary balloon high in the atmosphere. So high in the atmosphere means that as it falls, it uh, uh, it follows, uh, it follows uh, uh, suffers from air resistance which statement could be correct so uh, and it says that um, so it interprets several things here it says the graph one is uh, uh, associated against time uh, graph one is and uh, graph three is uh, force against time graph four is uh, force against time and so on so let us uh, do, do that. so when an object uh, falls from a height against air what happens is the initial velocity is zero the initial velocity v initial is equal to zero so that means that, that means that means uh, graph one could be velocity graph one could be velocity and uh, graph two also um, graph two also uh, could be velocity initial velocity uh, zero means zero means graph one could be velocity and uh, graph two could also be velocity so graph one velocity where it is so graph one velocity choice number c could be the correct choice could be the and uh, graph two velocity so that means choice number d should could be the correct choice not should be could be now here what it says is graph one acceleration so this is wrong it says graph one acceleration is wrong we don't have to care for this these two are wrong now initially velocity equal to zero then uh, v starts to increase v starts to increase but what happens is when v increases the viscous force or the opposing force also increase because of increase of opposing force the resultant force will be equal to force of gravity minus force of viscosity so this thing should decrease when it decreases a equal to f resultant by mass also should decrease so that means then that means we have uh, v initially zero it's okay now we should have a should decrease so a should decrease means so something uh, that shows decrease uh, decreasing graph is only graph number three so in other other things uh, it is increasing graph so only in graph three we have got uh, something decreasing and a is decreasing so 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 from this thing i can say that i can say that choice number c is the correct choice and d is the Choice number, uh, choice number uh, D is the incorrect. Uh, no, let, let, let's, no, let's, let's not uh, jump into conclusion. So I uh, jumped into conclusion. Uh, so let's not do that. So uh, again, both uh, C and D could be correct. Now what happens here is, if this A decreases, now what uh, now happens is, V now increases. A decrease means uh, V still increases. V still increases, increases, but, but, uh, at uh, less rate v still increases but at less rate which means that f v increases but at less rate which means that f resultant should decrease but less rate which means a decrease at less rate so that means this a should decrease at less rate so something decreasing at a lesser rate is shown only by graph 3 graph 3 and uh, so decrease at a less rate is shown by graph 3 so if a decrease at less rate what we have now is v should increase at less rate a decrease at less rate and v increase at less rate so what uh, from here what we have is in graph 2 it shows v increasing at uniform rate only <coughs> in graph 1 we have v increasing at lesser and lesser rate so a decreasing at lesser rate and v increasing at a lesser rate is only in graph 1 and 3 so that's why choice c is the correct choice and d again becomes incorrect choice so d nearly qualified but uh, but ultimately uh, this uh, graph 2 uh, failed it because it shows v increasing uniformly whereas v increases but at lesser rates and ultimately what happens is a becomes zero and uh, also ultimately v becomes uniform and I have covered this thing a lot in uh, previous questions 
as well as I have uh, given a lecture also uh, on YouTube uh, regarding the variation of a velocity uh, acceleration and the displacement for bodies falling freely under gravity and also body falling freely under gravity against air resistances so please go through them so choice number C is the correct choice